What's up everybody? 3D Pathfinder here. So I wanted to take a second. As y'all know, a while back, Micro Swiss sent me their Flowtech hot end upgrade for my K1 Max. Now, this has this hot end is an upgrade for the K1 and the K1 Max, and it is a big improvement on the stock uh, hot end that comes on these printers. Um, there were issues when the printers originally launched. They were having some leak issues and some uh, flow issues and things like that. And Micro Swiss designed this complete hot end replacement for the K1 and the K1 Max. You get increased flow. As you can see here, it's leak proof. You've got cold nozzle change capability with these nozzles. High flow, all metal design up to 300 degrees Celsius. And I have zero complaints from this hot end since I put it on my K1 Max. Now, Micro Swiss has come out with some new nozzles for their Flowtech hot end. Now, they were kind enough to send me the 0.6, the 0.8, and the 1.0 millimeter nozzle for the Flowtech hot end. These are their CM2 nozzles. Okay, now I'm going to show you right here. This is the standard nozzle that comes on the Flowtech hot end, okay? But this is not hardened or anything like that. This is just your standard nozzle. The factory nozzle stops right there at the end of these threads. But as you can see, you have this little extension that comes up. This is what eliminates the ability of this nozzle to leak, okay? So... This is the standard nozzle, and their new CM2 nozzles, as you can see, there you go, the hardened tip. So this is a hardened nozzle. This is the 1.0, as you can see the size there. Let me see. I think this one is, what is this? I can't see that right there. Let me see. See if I can see what size this is. Okay, so this is the standard 0.4. Standard 0.4 nozzle. As you can see, if y'all can make that out, if it'll focus there, it can't even focus on <laughs> how tiny that nozzle is right there. So there you go. Kind of did for a second. You got the 0.4 nozzle and the 1.0 nozzle right there. So this is the largest nozzle that they make. There's actually not even a profile from Creality for the 1.0 nozzle. I'm, that's probably coming, um, or you can find your own profile or build your own profile for this 1.0 nozzle. But the benefits that you get is this is a hardened nozzle, so you can use this with the more abrasive filaments and things like that. Still the fantastic thermal conductivity of these that you get from their standard nozzles, but you get that benefit of it being a hardened nozzle so that you can use the carbon fibers and the other abrasive filaments and things like that. The machining on these is absolutely exquisite, just as you get everything from Micro Swiss. So I am really looking forward. I've already got the, uh, actually, let's see. Yep, I've got the 0.8 hardened nozzle in there now. This is the original point eight um, that I had gotten and I swapped it out so I put the hardened nozzle in there took the old one put it in the same bag so I can keep hold of it there I need to print me a little holder for all these nozzles but I most definitely recommend the Flowtech hot end upgrade for Micro Swiss for your K1 and your K1 Max this will not work on the K1C the K1C has a proprietary nozzle. It's a different nozzle from the original K1 and K1 Max. So this will not work. I bet that Micro Swiss will be coming out for something for the K1C, but this will not do it. Also, some other news. The Ender 3 V3KE has essentially the same nozzle as the K1 and the K1 Max. A little bit different, but... Micro Swiss is doing something for the KE as well. I talked to them. They said in a few weeks they're going to have something coming out 
for the Ender 3 V3KE so that you can get the Flotec hot end, replace the factory hot end on your KEs and give you the benefits right here on this very budget affordable printer right here, which I absolutely love my Ender 3 V3KE. This has worked perfectly. I love this thing. It is a night and day difference from the original Ender 3 series. So, just wanted to touch on that a little bit. Thank you to Micro Swiss for sending me out originally their Flotec hot end and now their CM2 nozzles. I will be trying out some abrasive filaments, get some carbon fiber filament and uh, run through these and test them out. I have zero issues with the 0.8 millimeter hardened CM2 nozzle that I'm currently using in there. But thank you so much, Micro Swiss, and I eagerly look forward to the new products that they're going to have coming out. Thank you all very much.